Hello everyone, last week I had a live stream and during the live stream I received some requests from the fans. Some of them asked me for more focus on M language and M functions and some other asked me for more exercises. So we share some sort of exercise together and then they solve it and then we can discuss or I can just review over email. So I decided to combine both together and that's why today I'm going to give an overview about a challenge or an exercise about Power Query. And then I'm going to leave my email. You can see it now on the screen. You can solve this challenge and share the solution with me on email. I'm going to have a look on it. And then next week, I'm going to post a video solving this challenge. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give a shout for the names that shared the solution with me. Let's go back to the laptop and see the overview about this exercise. I have a single table containing few columns, ID, names, amounts for Jan, Feb, and Marsh. I converted this into a table format and I gave it a name, a simple name like data, and then I sent this to the Power Query. Then I moved some columns. Actually, I moved all the columns except the column for names and the column for amounts in the last month, which is basically Marsh. And then I loaded this into a table that you can see on the right-hand side. Up till now, everything is simple and easy. But what will happen when I have a new data for the new month like April? So let's try to copy the data for April, Control C to copy, and I'm going to the first empty column after my table and Control V. And because this is a table, an Excel table, the range will be expanded and the April column will be added to the table. Now when I refresh this output query, you will see that I have the month of April. And this is exactly what you are required to do. Let's try to add May and June to the table as well. Control C and then Control V. Let's go back to the output query, right click and refresh. And you can see I have only two columns, the names and the last amount column, which is basically in this case is June. And this is exactly what you are required to do. It just to make sure that you have the output in only two columns, the column for name and the column for the amounts for the last month. What do you think? I think it's an easy one. If you manage to solve it, please send me the solution on the email that will appear now on the screen. And also you can use the subject that I share on the screen as well, because this will help me to find out the related topics or the related emails. And also you will find in the description box this email, the subject that I prefer, and also a link for the file, the Excel file, so you can start to work on it easily. Don't bother yourself by preparing your own data. And stay tuned for next week. We are going to share the solution in a video as well. If you manage to solve it, that's fine. I'm going to give you a shout at the end of the video. And I'll be happy if you can also check my solution. If you couldn't, don't worry at all. It's totally fine. And you'll find the solution in the video next week. Best of luck. See you next week. And bye.